you won't see these normally on an ultrasound. Do you know what they are? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ferox and this glorious mess is in aid of making ultrasound phantoms today. An ultrasound phantom is a model that we use to practice, well, ultrasound, and also fine needle aspirates on. It doesn't have to look real, it just has to look real on ultrasound, enough to practice the basic techniques anyway. So I've got a large container because this recipe makes about three and a half litres worth of phantom, which will bring it up almost to the top. It's nice and broad, so we've got lots of space to fit things in. And we're going to make it mostly out of gelatin, because what else sounds like animal flesh other than actual animal protein? And to add a bit of texture, we're going to use some Metamucil. Inside the ultrasound phantom, we're going to hide lots and lots of fun things to find. Whether that's relatively large fruits, because the skin on these things shows up really well. Some interesting little shapes in the forms of mushrooms. Olives, because everyone tells me they look good on ultrasound. Some blueberries. Lots of little grapes. A couple of hard boiled eggs, because the yolk should look different to the white. Some gummy bears just for fun. The ones that are standing up look better than the ones sitting down. And a couple of fluid filled bladders. Not meant to be anatomically correct, just to practice what they look like. Now when you're making these, make sure you don't accidentally get any air bubbles in them. Because ultrasound won't see through air. So even if you get a little air bubble like this one, and I do hope you can see it. Your ultrasound won't penetrate the beam and you won't see it very clearly. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also go and add extra objects inside those bladders, pretending they're bladder stones or something. But once again, because this is a blueberry, it's got little pockets where air likes to get trapped. Make sure that you haven't got any air bubbles stuck on it or it will look weird. Oh, and normally you would use something like milk so that you can't see through the gel when you're practicing. But because this is for an open day when members of the general public get to see it, I'm just going to use food dye instead. So for the bottom layer, we start with 40 grams of gelatin and we mix it up to a total of 2 litres hot water. Then we add about 2 tablespoons of Metamucil to give it a more flesh-like echo texture careful not to get any lumpy bumpy bits or air bubbles because ultrasound won't see through air. To this layer I added the largest heaviest fruits because they want to sink to the bottom, a couple of plastic straws which want to float but I made sure I had gel mixture running up through them, again because air bubbles make it difficult to see, and I added one of the bladders. For the second layer, it's twice as concentrated, so it's still 40 grams of gelatin, but you mix it up to just one litre of hot water and about one tablespoon of Metamucil. To this second layer, we add all the other objects that we want to hide in here. So our bladder with our foreign object, the plain one, both of the eggs, which kind of want to sink, all of the different fruits. So the blueberries, the grapes, the olives, add the gummy bears, and remember that they will move, some will float and some will sink, but that's okay because you still have one more layer to go to cover everything else up once it's set. The final layer is very concentrated with 40 grams of gelatin to 5 to 600 mils of hot water and just a little bit of Metamucil. Again, really important, no air bubbles in this layer. And because I didn't quite have enough, I made some extra just to cover the top. 
Using the ultrasound, you just have to put a thin layer of water across the top of the whole thing and then hold the probe flat against the surface. Move slowly, which is just a good ultrasound technique. And remember to rotate 90 degrees if you find an object that you're not sure about what it is. I'm using a high frequency probe because I can, because the ultrasound phantom doesn't move or pant, but you can also practice with your lower frequency probes. The footage in this demo is all going to be with the high frequency probe. So here we have a gummy bear, first seen in cross section, and then rotating the probe to try to get a better view where you can see the ears and the arms a bit more clearly. Because you're getting a cross section of a 3D image, it often takes a little bit of fiddling to get an ideal view. Here we have an egg, and you can see the yolk very distinctly from the rest of the white. There's a blueberry. And here is a mushroom, which is upside down. The view is distorted further away from the probe because there is gas trapped in the mushroom. And here's one right side up. You can't actually see anything beyond the gas. Here's an empty water balloon, or rather one that just has water in it. And the more shallow one. And here we have a couple of stuffed olives. You can see the opening where they've been stuffed. A mandarin slice, which is perhaps better viewed if you rotate 90 degrees to get a cross section. And a straw next to the other egg. And of course, a gummy bear standing up just next to it. Now, if you get the straw and rotate it so you're scanning parallel to it, you can see the straight lines and you get this reverberation artifact repeated below it. Here's our second egg, another blueberry, and the very white line is air bubbles trapped in the skin of the mandarin. You can't actually see the inside of it, you can only see the slices when they're peeled. There's another one. And here's our blueberry in a bladder. And back to a gummy bear. Now we're going to practice some fine needle aspirates and biopsy taking, which needs a couple of very fine but extra long needles for poking, and a true cut biopsy, which has a little space behind the point for the tissue sample, and a bladed sheath that closes over it to collect it. So here's our egg again and we're going to do a fine needle aspirate aiming for the yolk. So the very very white point 
is the tip of the needle. It has some extra echoes around it, but it's the second line. And because this is gel rather than flesh, it's going to leave a trail of air bubbles where it's just been. So you can see how accurate you were. Now we're going to try and hit that blueberry in the bladder before the bladder deflates because of course this is a balloon. There's more echoes because it's just water but you can see the very white point. You only see the needle when it's parallel to your ultrasound beam. I think it looks really cool. Now we're going to try to hit the straw. There we go. So you can practice hitting very small targets. And here is a grape that we're going to try to get a true cut biopsy on. So you will see the shape of the needle as it comes into the ultrasound beam is different because it will actually have that little divot for the tissue sample. So you can see the point and then the rectangular shape behind it, which is where the sample is taken from. Here is an egg yolk to do the same thing. So you're not collecting a sample at the point, you're collecting your sample from behind the point. And once again, you can see where you've been. So now you know how to make your own ultrasound phantoms at home for hours of fun practicing stabbing jelly in the clinic.